Okay, today's session is on power bands. Now, some of you may be wondering, which power band do I need to use? So I'm gonna go through today the power bands that we have on our website. And these are range from yellow to red to green to blue. And you're probably wondering, well, what do they all mean? Well, I'll go through each one and what we commonly use them for so you can work out which one you need to get for which exercise. So let's start with the yellow one. Now, these are all 41 inch or 104 centimeter length that way, looped power bands. Now, this one is a skinny one and it's a light like resistance. So what I use this one for is generally for things like providing a lateral load. So if I was doing something like a knee lunge and I needed a load to pull it one way, so if I was gonna do say a physio lunge like this and I needed a load that was challenging my stability this way or trying to pull my knee in, and I resist that, this is quite a good resistance for that. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, but it's really easy just to wrap around a pole and use for that sort of thing. The other option we use these ones for are things like pulling exercises. So not rotator cuff work, but maybe more pulling exercises where you need a sort of a light resistance for what you're trying to pull on. Okay, again, really easy to flip around a pole like that. And for these ones, I use them like this, where you're going and doing a row, okay? So that's sort of your entry level band. One step up from that is your red one. So this one has just obviously got the same length, they're all the same length, but just more low. The thicker they are, the more low they have. So the red one is just a little bit thicker. Now, I probably wouldn't use that for any sort of rotator cuff work or anything like that. Again, if you want some more pulling work, this is probably the one you'd go for. So if you're gonna try and do a row or a band of work like that, you're gonna drop down to here. That's a lot more load, okay? It's not too heavy. So that's probably what we call a medium power band. Now, that one you can also use for vertical load. So say you're doing something like a leg exercise, like a step down. This is the one where you may see me doing things like this, where you've got a vertical load and you're trying to work on, say, some knee strengthening work, and you need that variable resistance of a downward load for something like a knee injury. So that's a really good one for that. And the good thing about these is they're nice and long, so and no matter really how tall or short you are, they're gonna be good for that sort of thing. Next one up, though, is gonna be your green. Now, this is getting to more strengthening-based things where you need quite a lot of bit of load. The thing about this one is the difference between the green and the blue is quite a bit of thickness, okay? So the jump from the green to the blue is quite a lot. So this might be the one that you're gonna use for more strengthening exercises or harder than if you find that the red is just not enough, but the blue is too much, then this is the go for you. Sometimes I like using this for what we call total knee extension. So you're gonna do knee extension standing, putting it on the back of your knee. The nice thing about this is it's not too skinny that it doesn't bite into the back of your leg. If you use the red with this, it would bite in, okay? And the red's probably not strong enough for you to do knee extension. Now, for someone who's just starting off with doing total knee extension, this is probably a good weight for that, okay? Um, so that is really good for that, whereas the blue is gonna be a lot harder. So that would be your sort of heavy power band, if you like. It's not extra heavy, it's just heavy. And your last one is your blue one, that's your extra heavy. Now, I wouldn't use this for any pulling type exercise. What you can do though, is use it for assistance. So you could use it for assistance in a chin up, right? You could also use the green as well, depending on how heavy you are. But if you're sort of 80 kilos above, you probably wanna use this one for a chin up. This one's also good for really heavy loaded work like squats, okay? So I could use this for something like this, where I'm gonna do a squat exercise. If I don't have any weights at home and I wanna use a work like this, I could use it for a squat. So I go into this sort of position and use it like that, okay? The other good one this is used for is distraction of joints. So if I'm gonna do, say, some sort of hip mobility work, meaning I could tie it around this pole, I need to use a blue because it's thick enough to not bite into my skin. So this one here I can use for something like, say, if I wanna do some hip flexion, external rotation stretches, so I'm in this sort of position where I need a distraction that way. This is a really nice one for that. So this is the sort of a couple of ideas of what you're gonna use your power bands for. Like I said, they're available on our website, so just go to shop, 
www.physiorehab.com. The link is in the comments below. And then you can get these ones, exactly the same ones that we use in the clinic.